Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Hello folks, Mephone here, and we are back for another NBA 2K22 of this matchup. We have a next game for you. Who do we have here, Mr. Son of Beast? We have is the Indiana Pacers facing up against Giannis Antetokounmpo's team champion of the NBA Finals last season of the year, Milwaukee Bucks. They are the NBA Finals champion, and they have won two in a row, one many years ago and one for last year of the season. That is correct. We also have duration that we made some a little bit of change off here. We'd like to thank one of the uh, players that did work at all. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, and many other players. Bobby Portis Jr. I have never seen this guy playing a lot. But that's more what he's going to do. So we'll have to find out what will happen here. So at that moment, we're about to start off with the next game. As the Indiana Pacers, the, um, the other teams that they have never got a chance to face off against Milwaukee Bucks here with the score. So here are the starting lineups for Indiana. We have it's Malcolm Brogdon, Chris Durante, Chris Darte, Karis Levert, Domantas Sabonis, and Miles Turner. And on the Milwaukee Bucks side, we have it's Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, Chris Middleton, Giannis Andrekupo, and Bobby Portis Jr. Now let's get you right over to the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. Let's take it over to David Aldridge. This is amazing look here, Pfizer Forum, not the best place to be here with the home of Milwaukee Bucks, as they won over here the last time in the NBA Finals, from the other side of the angle. Demantis Sabonis, we always have this season, 18.6, 62%, last five games was only 23.8, it's only 75% of his effort, how well he does. Let's go to DA, on the sideline. Good evening, Kevin. Giannis Adentacupo signed that big extension last season to remain a buck. He said, I don't care about glamour and big markets. I love Milwaukee. I can feel the love from the city every time I step on the floor. When I'm done, the only thing that's on my mind is spending time with my family. The Bucks are my basketball family. Kevin. And what do you know here, David Aldridge? I'm on it. So here are the starting lineups for those two players. The key matchup is Sabonis and Antetokounmpo and the point forward position. We already had saw that the best coach of the Milwaukee Bucks was Mike Budenholzer. He had made his best career here for the head coach for the Milwaukee Bucks. Rick Carlisle is the new head coach for the Indiana Pacers. Not to shoot, assume how well he has done, but that might be a lot more change than he has done. So, Indiana wins the, uh, wins the ball. We are underway here in Milwaukee, and we are all fueled up and ready to go. What a steal here for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's got a first steal. I think he's looking for another chance to go three in a row. Middleton to Portis Jr. He hasn't been able to play his game here once, uh, one step at a time. And if he had, wants to play this game to try to face another one, then he might have a lot of effort here to take it from here. On the Kupu, rolling over to Middleton, where three, wide open lane, doesn't get it inside. Sabonis takes his first rebound of the game for Indiana. Here's Durante against Middleton. Brogdon against Allen. Brogdon finds Sabonis. Try to find with the shot and a steal by Middleton. Middle fast break and going in, Holiday. It's denied by Turner. And you look at Miles Turner. He has that moment of his reeking out of his moment. He's trying to go big here. Giannis inside makes it makes a shot and a good play here from Allen. That will be his first assist here in the game. 
Allen, when you're looking for his first of this assist, he was wide open. He was wants to go inside the paint. He definitely had it all. Now look out from here. Miles Turner makes a slam dunk as he has also made inside the paint try to finish it off. Behind Akubo finding Middleton. Holiday outside. Last time, Giannis Antetokounmpo was the finals MVP. He has definitely played here and looking for a chance to do it again for this season. I'm sure bet. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he really is strong. He's like a hustling on the gas. Not, ass not assuming how well he does that. Oh, wow, what a block here for Antetokounmpo. And when Ryan Dekumpo really wants to go for it, he says, Hey, this is what my basketball is. I definitely do not want to leave the Bucks alone for myself. I decided to keep playing. Allen for three. And he goes off the target at that moment as the next rebound goes on Darte. Darte finds Brogdon. Brogdon looking over is Levert. Middleton is on him. Trying to find a look here. Sabonis. Darte for three. That will fire in here as Sabonis takes the assist. And they had a lead up by one. Holiday will try to look for the ever angle here. And Levert steals it. Levert, he has a lot of momentum out there. You gotta have to keep an eye on this target without losing the ball. Brogdon for three. And it goes off the board. Off the rim, I should say. And that will be another rebound from the Milwaukee Bucks. Allen looking for Portis Jr. Milton went very early. And a rebound and rejected by Brogdon. Brogdon on Middleton with 2.30 left to play here for the first quarter. And a drive sends up by Brogdon. That will get his number two pointer score. Holiday finds on the Kumbo. Looks back. Holiday drive up and it goes off the target. Miles Turner takes the rebound as Brogdon goes over to Darte. But a nice D here for Giannis on the Kumbo. Really wanted to stop the guys from the ever attack. Brogdon with the steal. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. And going up is another shot. That's another one for Darte. That will be six pointer in the game. First time out called out by Milwaukee Bucks. They will have to reset the score here for the game. And not to assume how he does that. A lot look at how the steel is putting him up for the Indiana Pacers. You definitely cannot let the man get right into it and then go right in the other way. You don't want that to go right through it and try to come open with another angle. You have to get in the pet in the corner or on each side of it and try to get back into the game. You don't want any of your uh, players to come back in and then try to make the shot. That's going to be very tricky for them to uh, keep in eyes on pressure. As the substitution is, comes on, we have Nora. He will be checked in for, uh, for Chris Middleton. Now we have is Pat Connaughton. He is checked in for, for the error player, for Allen. And DiVincenzo, he's checked in, also with George Hill. And the other guys will have to assume to get a little better. George Hill, smooth run. Not even a bad start for him. Bucks trail by three. Looking over is Craig. Wara on the cover. Looks Turner. Ana Cooper right on him with the shot. And he rebounds it right away as Turner misses. Connaughton right back to uh, Anacubo, to New Orleans. DiVincenzo looking for another lane. Pat Connaughton for three. And getting an open shot, doesn't go in there. That's a hard look already. Defenders are like already on the target. Looking for a drive, that will be good in for another two pointer score. They lead by five. Try to go slow at that point. The screen coming in for Ana Kupo. Looking around, Ana Kupo! Trying to look for the shot without being fouled, called on Indiana. 
looking good here with the shot. I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't mind that. Kind of very easy to make it make that play. Shot, tough. Rebounded by, oh, on the Kupo again. Under 30 seconds here, DiVincenzo slams it in. Makes the dunk here with that drive, and he's all alone and says, no questions, no ask. Wow, DiVincenzo is on a heartbreak out there. You must go see how well he has done for over seasons. Martin, missing at the three-point range, has another rebound on Ian Kubo. Looking over Connaughton, they're trying to find a score here to make the buzz beater. Connaughton for a buzz beater. Oh, he makes it in there! Connaughton scores, and they put up a two-point lead. Wow, oh, man. What a play here for our Milwaukee Bucks. They have that score on its way. And that is the end of the first quarter, which comes to 13-11 lead for the Bucks. We'll be right back for the second quarter after this. Everybody gets up and plays. Guys bring energy to play against those guys. Bring energy to play against Giannis and Chris. And we have to match that energy. We have to match that competitiveness. And we have to go out there and compete at a high level every single night. What he's talking about here for DiVincenzo with Chris and Giannis, he has to keep his eyes on a shot. With the best players looking for some good moment out there, and they have a lot of them to try to scurry them around. I know what DiVincenzo was thinking of his part of his career. He has gotten a little bit much better at that point. And he gets a lot of momentum if he tries to get a little bit better at that point. Dante DiVincenzo for a three, and he goes up. Whoa, what a good D here for DiVincenzo as Anacupo takes eight in a row. Double man on him. Anacupo Hill outside for three. Inside it goes. Hill takes the first, first three pointer on a wide open range on assist. Anacupo. Anacupo, he's going right in the target out there. Done a little bit much better. Saving with the rebound here for the Bucks. Trying to get a little bit better out there. Just five minutes left here for the second quarter. DiVincenzo back to Hill. Hill finding DiVincenzo. Looks over Connaughton. Looking over, the first foul calls on Indiana. That will be on Wanamaker, number 10, his first personal first team foul. So Connaughton, he's got a lot of him as make his strength. After the first quarter, he has gotten a little bit much more, more shots for last season for his game. It's quite nice that Pat Connaughton definitely made a great save out there. Played a couple times here with, um, I'm thinking the Trail Blazers, but he, but he definitely returned here with the Bucks. A lot of scores, a lot of momentum. He's doing really well. First shot makes it in here for Connaughton, and a new changeup will be Indiana as D Darte and Sabonis check in for the players, and Brissett also checks in. And another changeup here for Bucks as Holiday, Hood, Middleton, and Portis Jr. are checked in for the other players. And a second free throw delivers it off of the bang. Connaughton. What and uh, lucky to tell him, as he has definitely played back for his uh, high school, I mean, college senior from the NCAA basketball tournament, he was able to make his, his streaming come to a true making in a game. If it's just fair for him, that's for, um, that's for uh, Connaughton to try to uh, keep an eye on a run. So he's going to try to keep it up if he wants to do this again. Screen on Bordis Jr. Finds inside. What a pass by Connaughton. A first assist, first basket for Porter Jr. Bordis Jr., you meant. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm very sorry. But that was a great shot. How lucky for him. Darte against Hood. Screen taking it over again. Inside. Nice D here for Bordis Jr. And he picks up another rebound. They, those guys can't can't get over him. They gotta have to find some help. And when they have to get there closer, they gotta get they gotta put some help on the pressure. 
footed. Back to Connaughton. From the elbow, makes a shot. And that will be another two-pointer for Connaughton. And he kicks, kicks up 10. We're just under 3.30 to go here. 25 to 13 to score. Wanamaker trying to find Martin. Screen on Sabonis. Tries to avoid it. Watching defensive breakdown here for, for Indiana and Milwaukee. Five to shoot. Look inside is up. And a save number one for the rebound on Holiday. Three minutes to play. Middleton, right from the corner. Connaughton moving around by Holiday. But with the shot, rebounded by Middleton. Middleton, he's getting here to show up. He's going to need to see what he can do. Holiday for three, and that will be off the mark as Sabonis picks a rebound. Darte against Holiday. Try to put the pressure to close the gap. Martin against Hood. Another screen for Indiana. A little, little, little bit of pressure on the inside, but no rebound here for Sabonis. Sabonis really got to try to go hard on this pressure. A lot of players from the Indiana are having a hard time, and they got to try to find another way to carry it on. Connaughton finds Middleton. Over again, Hood steps up. Doesn't hit that time. It's another miss here for Milwaukee. And we're under two minutes left here in the first half. Oh, drive coming in. Number save, rebound, and a foul will pick up on the Bucks. Now will be on Chris Middleton, his first personal, first team foul. And Chris Middleton, he definitely got a little, uh, little uh, up, up too much with the pressure on Sabonis. He really has to try to figure this out. Sabonis at the free throw line to shoot two. He will take it from here to have a first free throw for Indiana. First free throw definitely swoops in as Turner, Brogdon, and definitely have a player there going out on the bench and Levert. New changes here for the Bucks. Also we have this Hood and Connaughton. They will be checking out as Hood moves over to small forward and Allen checking in. Sabonis so hits two free throws. That will be picking up by 10. We're under uh, two minutes here left to go. Holiday finding another transition in between the action. Allen, nobody around him, but he doesn't hit that free free pointer out there that far. Inside the bonus, the drive. Oh, what a save rebound here for Turner. Looking back, Turner can't find a shot. He goes off out of control. And oh, he got a charge on that. That's an offensive foul on Portis Jr. That is not good at all. That's a lot of uh, bad calls already. You see that Miles Turner was definitely out on the out of the block. You can't even hit the elbow and knock him over. And that was a fantastic play by Mobile One Block as Giannis makes a steal and says, "Give me the ball." That's all I have to say. That, that was pretty cool. I'm, yeah, totally right. I'm expecting that there might be another uh, chance. There is. Brogdon finding Hill. Turner with the screen. Three man covering. And Giannis again. Picks up nine rebounds. Only six points in the game here. Lock hard. It goes in on out of, out of an arrangement. Nora right over again. Hill, bounce pass to Anacubo, kind of spin it up, Anacubo missed the shot on the outside of the range as they pick it up, another one for Indiana. Brogdon, DiVincenzo on the cover, 30 seconds to go. Oh, Giannis had a piece of it, and that turned out to be a goal today. That will be another two-pointer here for Indiana. And you can hear the uh, and you can hear the fans. They're like booing on that call because what happened is that Giannis was trying to pick up the block, and that's what happened. They they counted as a goaltending. 
that definitely put up a referee here for the Ever opponent's team and try to go back on the Ever end. Hill trying to find a look on that player. Nora. Hill. Allen. Three pointer is off. Brogdon will have to leave it for half. Court range doesn't go in. So that ends the first half here as 25 17 score run for the Bucks. Now let's get you over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thanks, guys, here with Coach Luton over Mike. Your evaluation of the first half. Well, I think both teams' defense is pretty good. You know, hopefully somebody can catch a rhythm here and score some points. Um, you know, hopefully we can be better there. And that'll be key as the game goes on, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. We'll be right back here, folks. After this, time to check out the first half summary report. Summary games of the game. Time to get you back here in the second half. We're back here again, folks, here at the Five Serve Out Forum. We're ready to start the third quarter, and looking over here again, we have some great tracking score action here, as this turned out to be the best play of this game was Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's saving like nine rebounds out there. Just how quick he could be. I'm telling you this one here. It looks like uh, Giannis definitely stepped it up a bit. Had a lot of momentum out there. Doing a little bit better, just trying to keep it around. You know, every time that Giannis does, he has a lot of pressure. Brogdon looking inside, and the foul calls on the Bucks. It's Portis Jr. picking up his second personal foul. Second team foul. And as McCall Brockett will do in the two, two, uh, two free throw line, he has a lot of momentum trying to get avoided by the defensive player and knock him over. Yeah, I totally agree. This is a lot of hard of a lot of strangling in position. What McCall Brockett really never sees is because of um, what his player has, has made his own stat here in the play in tournaments. He's never faced it off. And he had never made it there before. And that's all he had wrote. A lot of plays are turning out that bad, but that will never happen if he's going to try to keep this thing up alive or not. He makes the second free throw. A lot of plays out in action here. And definitely what happened here from two seasons ago as the Pacers lost against the Orlando Magics here at Orlando, Florida. They had got an amazing score out there to try to pick this one up at a better time from the other angle. And oh no, another offensive foul pulled on Gian on the Bucks. It's now Giannis Antetokounmpo. He slammed Miles Turner again. That's going to be a very tough call here as he body slammed him, trying to go around him and trying to whip it off. Well, that's going to take a lot of pressure out there because you know that refs made an easy call. That's not going to help the defenseman get better. Karis LeVert takes the, th takes the two-pointer out in the other angle. As the number one comes by, they're down by nine. Call it Milton. Middleton tries the other way, and the foul falls on. Devonta Sabonis, his first first team foul. Has a lot of good momentum, a lot of movement of the angle. Chris Middleton, he gets a little better and says, Giannis, this isn't what we play here on offense. This is what we have to play here on defense. If you want to reject the ball, then this is what you need to keep an eyes on. And we can be part of a team again to be on a dynamic duos. This is our only franchise players that we played here before. And also with Drew, um, Drew Holiday. Takes a four shot in. 
And I'm definitely telling you there, Beast, this is what uh, Chris Milton is realizing his momentum. I can feel that, um, that Chris Milton has done a very, very great job at that point. A lot of games could be very tough as he played with the first matchup against the Celtics and then a second round matchup against the Brooklyn Nets and then the third round against the, against the Atlanta Hawks. That's a lot of hard and working on, on the stress ability that they really wanted to play. <clears throat> and not to assume what they have done here, this is what they have gotten into better at that point. I'm sorry, the Bucks against the Heat in the first round. And now another foul called on the Bucks. But Paul Brock go into the second time to shoot a throw a free throw. And that is a foul on Drew Holiday. Their second team foul. That's not going to be very good for the uh, offensive players. That will be a tough one here to pick up on defensive on the ever lane. Makes the first free throw here, no problem at all. And uh, but McCollum Brogdon, this game has gotten into it his worst relation that he has ever played here with the Pacers. What does it feel how uh, how how um, this guy is really keeping his strength on the line? Well, it's not definitely really enough for him to just keep an eyes on for his shot. The reason why he has never gotten into this game is very tricky. It was very tough trying to keep an eye on that one here. It could be done that quickly. But it may not be happening right around the other angle. Oh, Chris Middleton. Oh, what a drive. Spins around. Makes another two-pointer. Middleton gets four. Do you want to be? Well, I haven't seen this shot. Doing really well. Another angle for Karis LeVert. He's going back here and picking up five points this game. Jazz Kupo really wouldn't have seemed if he's going to have to keep trying again, but this will never happen. Allen binding over his holiday. Looking over inside on the Kupo. Oh, rejected by Sabonis. And a shot clock is down to a violation as it turns it over for Milwaukee. One more look here, just a little bit slow motion of the replay. Very good. That is where the first half has come around by as this one turns it off. So the first block now puts up Dementa Sabonis for the Indiana Pacers. They have one, and one turnover for the Bucks. A lot of huge turnovers here for the uh, Indiana, but that will not change their scores. And a steal, Conaton, Holiday, 3 on one Oh, Milton taking a dunk in the paint. A lot of play action here. He's like a, he's like a professional. I, I bet he is. I'm totally enough to, uh, to keep an eye on him. Wanamaker against Holiday. Screen avoided it. As three for the, uh, for the other team. Three pointer for Wanamaker. Then they go in there. 245 left to play here for the third quarter. And now they're going to try to switch it up a bit to make it more better. Bounce pass by Allen. Back again to Holiday. Hines for Junior. Stepping in. Got a double man in. Allen going outside. Back by Holiday. Steps up. The elbow is no good as Holiday misses another shot. Just under about to go with. With two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Darte against Milton. Screen rejected up. Another shot missed for Darte as another rebound picking up for the Bucks. Portis Jr. 
looking over is off the angle, another turnover on the box as another, another, another steal picking up with the fumble. Martin trying to find Wanamaker outside. Screen, Sabonis. And a steal, Farouk did it up. Pass broken up for the Indiana, and Middleton has it again. Another shot going in is Porter Jr. Portis Jr. has making another two-pointer to make a drive and a steal on Middleton. They have a hustling stats out there. Look at this. Four steals and six off with the turnover on the other end. How does that go with? He's doing really like a hard worker. Connaughton way deep with the pass, but they have to try to like pick it up from the other angle. Middleton. Looks over to Horace Jr. Over again. Wanamaker with the steal. Another pass broken up for the Bucks. Wanamaker on holiday. 35 seconds to go. Again with another screen. Brissett finds Martin. Five to shoot. Looking back in. Make a shot. It doesn't go in that time, another miss for Indiana. Middleton looking over his Allen. Holiday for three, knocks it in! Another three-pointer for Milwaukee Bucks, and they are trying to extend it over the coverage of the lead. Looking very hard, a lot of comfortable, easy three-pointers. They're like a pro. And we are all done with the third quarter. It's 38 to 26. The final quarter is up next. So don't go anywhere. We got more coverage to bring you from here. Without better plays, here's a look at the State Farm assist of the game. And when you're looking for his play, Bucks are really like outscoring the last one of the session. That's Portis Jr. And for number one, Drew Holiday. He's setting up his best record out there. I know, that's definitely right here, me phone. When his score became better, it's a lot of a dedication for himself to play. We played three quarters of this game, and now it's the last quarter to play for this season. Let's get it on. Levert against Fulton. Levert tried to go in, denied by the Creek Free, the Vodka de Coupo. That is a lot of plays. Looking like a good defense defender out there. Not able to see it where that comes out. Or an Aurora. I don't know which one's better. Which what block is it? And this one is called a uh, Richard Foul on Giannis. I don't think that Nuora had a, a chance to like to take the block. I think that was on the Kumpo. Uh, my mistake was wrong. It looks like it might be your, your, um, your prediction was wrong. I thought that was going to be Nuora to play on the ever angle. The steal broken up by DiVincenzo and he was all alone. Saves it all! DiVincenzo is slamming it running in there. Look out for DiVincenzo. He has a lot of space out there. Finding look is Levert. Screen on Miles Turner. Coming in. Rebounded by Ana Kumpo. 5-10 to go. Now it's Hill finding Ana Kumpo. Back to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo trying to like make it himself go right around the angle. Kind of broke it up. Try to step in. Inside it goes. Arnold Kubo is getting a lot of good spirit as Hill picks up the assist. That's four in a row there. You can definitely can't go wrong with the player of George Gill. He definitely has that spot of courage. He's on fire. Levert again. Hood. Brogdon trying to find Turner. Up over Hood. Makes an easy, good shot. And the next timeout will call out by Milwaukee Bucks with just 4.18 to go. 
They got a lot of points scoring in between and outside. And that is more than they had. We'll be right back with you for next break. So far, only two blocks for the Bucks and two blocks for Indiana as they're all even up. We don't know who's going to take the lead with the blocks. What do you think will happen here, Meatphone? Well, that may be very tough for them to try to look it over. If you flip it on the ever angle, there might be an opening chance here for the Bucks. If they wanted to score it out, Patty, the lever angle, that might be tough for them to keep it off for this team to the other team of the opponent. As the Vicenzo scores with a drive layup, here's Crookie. Levert going in. Another deny by Anacopo. And now they have the lead, up by, up by one. Lock with lead, no problem with the pressure. Anacopo gets it rolling. He definitely really wanted it all. Screen, trying to go around. Look out! Giannis Anacupo slams it down, and that is a fast break in the paint. Oh, wow. I do not believe it. Anacupo is like, he's a killer out there. You don't want to mess with him. Everybody jumps out of your seats, and look out for the Greek freak. He really wants it. Oh, another angle. It turned out to be another one as Karis LeVert picks up a dunk. Well, I'm outscoring here for Indiana by eight. And now the Holiday will have to try to suit things together. Holiday trying to look it forward. Holiday right from the free throw line doesn't go in there. Levert with another rebounding save. He finds Brockton. Ida Kupo's on him. Levert against Holiday. Turner. Avoiding the screen, a holiday says, nope, not doing that. Oh! Garris LeVert picked up another dunk out there. Whoa, whoa, hold on to your horses there. Garris LeVert gets the dunk out there. He really, he really feels like he wants to do it. Not for long. Middle chain with five to shoot. Porter Jr. trying to pick a three, but doesn't go in there at that time. And now he's up under two minutes to play in the final quarter. Levert, prick for three. That does not go in there. And a rebound by Ida Cooper. That's 12 in a row. Ida Cooper, he never slows it down. He just keeps it going. He really likes this uh, team. He really knows it a lot. He wants to be the franchise player here for the Milwaukee Bucks. And also in the Hall of Fame here to try to play how hard his career does. Ida Kupo short on a three-pointer range as he tries to, uh, to avoid the shot clock violation. And now Levert up with the shot. And never miss here for Indiana. And now we're under going down to one minute ago here, DiVincenzo. Finds Middleton. Back to DiVincenzo. Back to Middleton. Under a minute to play in the fourth quarter. Middleton. Tough angle. Didn't really make the shot. Five uh, separations in between the shot clock and game clock. You just do, do not want him to go right in it off the, off the footage of the line. It may be hard for him to go for it. He makes a shot for Ross Turner as the foul picks up on uh, Middleton. That will be fourth team foul for Milwaukee. And another one for Indiana. We'll be making another change here. 43.5 seconds. Jarrah Brogdon. Definitely not enough to make it up with the play. Matthews, Arlen Kubo, DeMarcus Cousins, and I and George Hill, I bet. I think it. Maybe I might be alright. He makes a shot. Now he will have to pick up another new change here for Milwaukee Bucks. As they pull the next timeout to try to, to try to story it over without putting the other other team with a score. We have Bango rolling out here, looking up, looking up for another win here. What a tough man. He's definitely out. Definitely the mascot. 
He's like a show roller. How can you do better? I don't know. Uh, this is like a hard thing. Like, you can never go wrong with that. They're like a, he's like a genius like never before. player of the game. This one for the Bucks. It goes out to the McCollum Brogdon for the Pacers in this game. Only 8 points. 19.6 did not have the advantage to score. Now we're just ready to finish it off to the game. As Hill, my cousins, DiVincenzo, Jaru, oh wait, Tientas, Ida Kubo, and Wesley Matthews. Picking up the pressure here to bring it along. Yeah, oh! Oh, it didn't really hit that at all. Kind of like a back around hand. Rodden, short on a carry. And DiVincenzo will close it off from here. And it will pick it up from Hill. And that should do it, my friends. Final score is. The Bucks, 46, and Indiana, 35, in the game run. And that turns out to be a one intense matchup here. A lot of plays for returning Bucks to win the season of season six. Let's go to courtside of David Aldridge. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think, uh... The whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready, everybody stepped up. And you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from the Bay team one of the good things. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thanks, DA. What a great game this is, and hopefully the next one will be turning out to be the holiday matchup here for the Christmas time to make it special and make it rain here for this game, as we will have a New York showdown in between the Knicks and the Nets. What's your bet here for the next game uh, here, Mifo? Uh, I think in the bet, I'm putting up a Knicks here for this one. And this might be a time for the Knicks to make a comeback here if they can try to pick up a win here. And what about you there, Beast? I go for the bet on Brooklyn Nets. Because those teams are definitely like, they're like a killer out there. They just play like a New York, New York killer from, the, uh, from Brooklyn of this area. I totally knew that, the, that Brooklyn definitely is my team. That is what you can't go wrong with this. Brooklyn, baby, for us. That, that I I know. Well, you'll have to see about that one for the next game. But um, you'll keep your eyes on for that one. And now let's check out the three stars of the game for players that made it the did the best. Starting up with number three, as we will be taking a never close look at the angle here, as Indiana Pacers. It was um, a tough look on the other other side here. It was Karis Levert, only one steal, two rebounds, only played 14 minutes on a court, and nine points. We're glad to see him back here playing for his game. It's not quite enough to play for him, but uh, you'll probably go get there just enough in case. Now rolling up to number two we have from the Bucks. it's uh, Pat Connaughton, who received up with uh, one steal, one assist, and great, ten Pointer game and 10 minutes on court. Definitely played in uh, college that time with Notre Dame and in the uh, in a in a March Madness bracket. That's kind of pretty cool and very neat. And now number one for the player, and this one has legend it all through. And that is your player that played the best on the court. It's the Greek freak of Giannis onto the Kumpo. Ah, Kupo, he's definitely got a good shot here, and I would have bet he's like an all-star player. Turned out to be a legendary. Well, he's like a superstar. He's definitely doing really well, and I think he will do his next career as a legendary before his game has finished with a retirement. 
Well, not too much to go with that one, yeah, so I'm not going to ask what's going to uh, change the ability for the Bucks. So, thank you for watching for this uh, presentation of the NBA 2K22. If you'd like to check out the previous game of Wolves and the Hornets, you can check out the video by uh, sending over to the playlist X section of the seasons 4, 5, and 6 of NBA. As for being said, thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you on the next game of the New York Showdown of the matchup. And peace out to everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you for watching. Good night in Milwaukee, and we'll be back. They try to fit things, things on right from the case. And if you not checked out the uh, the episode six of an anime insanity invitational, watch it now. You'll definitely know if it's crazy or not. But don't ask. Thank you for joining. We'll see you all again very very soon. And hope you all enjoy your holidays of this channel of Sun and Peace. Take care and good night to everyone. Till next time.